Hi, Libra Nation. This is going to be your love message for the week of March 24th. I put out a reading for you guys, general overview of what your week would look like yesterday. But today we are going to hyper focus on relationship. So this is your relationship reading. As always, keep in mind, though, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Don't fill your head with fantasies and try to make it fit if it's not your story. If it's not your story, just leave it behind. It was meant for someone else. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. My name is Carrie Lee and I am a Libra. I get an unusual amount of downloads for Libra, so I gave them their own channel. But I also read for Sagittarius on this channel too, because I get a lot of downloads for that sign as well. So if you have those placements, you came to the right place, subscribe and hit the bell. So you get notifications for when I do readings here, link to my website for private one-on-one -on -one readings that are less confusing than general readings. You know, you'll want one. <laughs> Follow the link down in the description below. All right, let's begin. So energy for the person around you and your energy. Things could be opposite, roles could be reversed. Take it as it resonates for you. I said, spirit, what's going on in the energy of someone that Libra is focusing on for love right now? Love could be romantic love, but it could also be a friend or family. This could also be about career. So what came out for someone in the environment is stuck and loyalty, life partner, regain control. So it looks like someone is telling themselves that they're stuck being loyal to a life partner that does speak to a romantic partner, but they could be being loyal to someone else, maybe a family member, okay? They're loyal to something here and they're trying to regain control of that situation. Your energy is read between the lines. You've had to read between the lines. And when we have to read between the lines, that means that there's been a lot of soft, subtle, passive aggressive communication, but not very direct communication. And when that happens, we are kind of forced to read between the lines. I think you're done doing that because you're walking away. You've read between the lines and you're walking away. This makes you feel kind of hurt meeting someone new. I'm sorry is at the bottom of the deck. I think you might be the one that wants to meet someone new because it looks like someone might stay with a partner and try to work it out and you don't want to do that anymore. You're hurt. I don't think they're the one that's met someone new. I think you're hurt that you have to walk away. I'm hearing I have to do this all over again. You might be saying I'm sorry to them. They might be saying I'm sorry to you or saying sorry to somebody, I'm definitely picking up on a lot of triangulation here. The energy that from the solar system that's influencing this whole situation right now and you Libra is Mars and Vesta. Who Vesta's caught under the collar, but she's keeping it, keeping it in. Mars is your physical energy, your drive, your strength and your fighting spirit. Mars is our aggressive energy, our survival energy. It's not, it can be impulsive at times, but there's a lot of heat here and a lot of intensity from the red planet influencing you at this time. But Vesta's like, my sacred spiritual center is telling me to be quietly dignified and act like a goddess and not freak out too much. <laughs> so on the surface, you're going to be really calm. Vesta's going to help you with that. I think that Vesta, the asteroid Vesta, is here to help you get in touch with your drive and what you're driven towards, what you're willing to fight for, what your morals and values really are. But also she's here to help you deal with and appropriately express feelings of anger. Don't bottle it up too much, though. We have the moon at the bottom of the deck being the main challenge. This is the unconscious and sensitive part of you, your inner emotions and responses. There is a lot of illusion with the moon, though. Sometimes I think you're like, what's really going on here? There's been a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of cycling emotions. Cycles have been played through this. There is an eclipse happening here, and we happen to have an eclipse. Happy full moon in Libra, by the way, you guys. Here's your advice. If you don't want to watch this reading and you just want to hear spirits advice, I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, that's okay. Water, but it says sinkhole. This is a uh, hexagram number one. Something difficult, perhaps even perilous is ahead of you. Circumvent this obstacle if possible. But if you can't get around the obstacle, confront it 
with confidence and determination. Yeah. And it, it's like you can live in confusion or you can confront it with determination and also be very dignified. So you're being asked to confront something with determination. Regardless of the outcome, you will grow from this experience. Be cautious of energy from the north, whatever that means. Be cautious of energy from the north. Okay. So there is something difficult ahead of you. And you do have to confront it with confidence or you can take uh, an easier route only if that's possible. But it says you know what to do. You have the answers. Ignore conflicting advice from multiple sources and the voices in your own head creating polarizing thoughts. Don't rely on others to resolve your problems either. Rest assured that you will conquer these obstacles. You know the solution and it might take time. Something is not necessarily meant to be here. Don't take it too seriously. If despite your best attempts, the outcome is not what you wish, it was never yours to begin with. The world is full of new possibilities. Self-pity and diminished self-esteem esteem will only obscure your view of what is to come. Mm, I think it's okay to acknowledge how something might be hitting your self-esteem. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a little bit of a pity party from time to time either. Like you're allowed to have emotions, right? But don't let that time of focusing on those feelings and making space for those feelings, don't do it so much that it keeps you from obscuring your view of the future, Libra. Mm -hmm. Something's not meant to be. So my personal advice as a relationship coach is actually, I think it's okay to take a moment to be like, well, I just feel like shit about myself and this whole thing. Okay, take a couple days to do that. You don't need to override that feeling, but don't let that time obscure what's to come because we're always moving forward in earth. You know what to do is something difficult that has to be faced. So interesting energy. Overall energy of the person coming towards you is the wheel of fortune. The way they're feeling is justice. They could be a Libra like you. And we are particularly preoccupied with making choices when, when it's about, I mean, justice is really about knowing that you have to keep the consequence in mind before you make a choice more than anything, right? Justice isn't a punishment. It's a uh, science everything that has an action has an equal and opposite reaction so someone's in the energy of the wheel of fortune and justice which is we have to think about our karma and our karmic cycles and what we're learning from those cycles karma is not a waste of time karmic cycles are the majority of what we do in life but we have more cycles of dharma when we pay attention in our karmic cycles. Someone seeing you as the sun. Hi, Leo energy. What you need to know are your advice is the 10 of wands and the final outcome is the nine of swords. Stressed out and overthinking it. Oof, I need a break. Someone's overthinking something. Someone just needs to take a break. Temperance is showing up here and the hermit. Either you or someone else around you, Libra, you might both be doing this. It's like somebody just needs a minute. They're like, I can't people. I'm a little emotionally feral right now. <laughs> I'm really in my head about this. I need to bring something back into balance and be calm. I need to spend time alone. But thinking about the past... Someone's been waiting for something. Someone's waiting for something. They've been patient and that's not leading them to solution focused thinking. Yeah, I bet you're sorry. Okay. Again, take it as it resonates for you. I'm kind of picking up that maybe the two of you were dating and then the relationship can't go further because they've decided to be loyal to someone else. And you're like, well, fine, I'm done. But there could have been something here with you and there still could be. But for some of you, maybe you and a partner thought about breaking up and going your separate ways, but you want to try one more time. You have to take it as it resonates for you. So with this Wheel of Fortune, fate, fortune and destiny, a lot of change. The Wheel of Fortune is the wild card. What goes up must come down and then it goes back up and it's trying to highlight where destiny is taking you or this person. And there have been times when this person has felt 
or maybe it's you, this could be your energy too, someone sometimes feels like things are going their way and they're in control. And then other times it feels like they're falling off the wheel. Look at him over here. He's like falling off the wheel. Here's the queen of swords up here. She knows what she's doing. That's Aquarius. <laughs> Look at the Leo lion looking at the sky. I never noticed this before. The lion in Leo, this represents fixed signs, is looking at the sky like, are you still doing this to yourself? How Like, is wash, rinse, and repeat actually what you want to do with your life? <laughs> yeah, and the Queen of Swords is sitting up here like, I don't know. I mean, I'm really trying to make smart choices, spirit. Interesting. Someone does need to break a pattern, though. But here's what happens. Here is the cycle. The world, the Eight of Cups, but then the Six of Cups. Now that's good with the Six of Cups. It's like someone does feel the need to just move on and let something go. I think a problem that someone might be having is this is the cycle they play out. It's over. They move far, far away. They leave it all behind. But then these memories keep creeping in. And they're not bad memories. They're good memories. So it's hard to completely walk away. But I'm also seeing here that a new cycle of Dharma could start with the wheel if either you, Libra, or this person really gets the lesson. I mean, the world when the world comes out, it's like happy graduation. You've reached an ascension. No more to learn. Move forward. Really leave it all behind. Really let go of the past. And look at the good memories that you have. They don't cancel out or overshadow the bad memories, but a no bridges burned kind of feeling is nice. But this might be a loop that someone gets trapped in. It's a loop that they get trapped in. With justice, someone is feeling justice. As Libras, we know that this is not always a fun feeling. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it can be unfun to feel justice. But there's an intellectual component to justice, which is, are, are you thinking about the choices that you make before you make them? And are you willing to live with the consequences of the choices later? Because we are going to get what we deserve based on the choice we made initially, right? This is difficult for someone to see. Eight of Swords. Oh my God, I can't think about that. Now, it could be you that they're overthinking. I mean, justice could quite literally be you because you're Libra. Tarot 101, if you're new to tarot, that's your card. Get used to it and familiar with it. It is your friend. But it is not this person's friend. <laughs> so not someone's friend today. It's like, yikes, I'm overthinking this. And I feel kind of backed into a corner and ganged up on and caught off guard. And I really need to just spend time alone. The Hermit, Virgo. Could be dealing with a Libra, a Virgo, fixed sign. I also have Aries. I have a lot of Capricorn. Capricorn is connected to Saturn and that planet will make you think about what you're doing with your life. So will Virgo. So you need a time, some time to think about it. Maybe they need some time to think about it. I always like it when the Hermit and Justice come out together. It's like, yeah, I really need to think about what I'm doing with my life. That's not easy. And I think they're getting pressured. Maybe you feel pressured too. That's hard. Now, keep in mind, this, this could just be a theme that's going on around you that you are witness to or it's something you're going through. But I feel like someone is struggling to really let something go. But here's how they see you. Or if like this is something you're going through, it looks like you really want to move into something new and beautiful. You're being seen as the sun. That's Leo energy. Clarifying this is the fool. That's Aries and the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. These are the fun nights. <laughs> Romantic, youthful, charming, creative, passionate, rebellious. And the Fool, Wee. That's how you're being seen right now, Libra. Now, someone might not want to let you go, but someone may also really see you as just this breath of fresh air that's so wonderful and so fun 
and you represent a lot of excitement for them. And they look at you and they see you as a person that really has a beginner's mindset, which means you don't have a lot of ego. What I love about the energy of Aries and being in Aries season is it brings in two different kinds of energy. We have the energy of the fool and we have the energy of the emperor. Emperor is logical, structured, practical, in charge, king of all kings. And the fool is like, I am not in charge of shit. <laughs> I am in an... I am in an experimental phase in my life. I am being a little silly, but I mean, I'm connecting to my inner child and I'm not afraid to be experimental and I'm not afraid to call myself a newbie. As a matter of fact, I don't even need a helmet. This shit's going to be fun. So somebody really sees you like as a, as an avenue to experience this, or they see you as a person that's doing this in their own life. I do this every Aries season because I have an earth in Aries. So the way I stay grounded is to act like this little goofball. Literally, I have like a 12 year old dumb little boy telling fart jokes living in my body. That's me. <laughs> and I think that like, I get like, I get this like, yeah, Libra can be this way, especially if you've got some Leo or Aries in your chart. Oh my God, you're just like a little clown car opening up. It's so delightful. Someone sees you as very delightful. Now that might intimidate them. They might not like that. But you know, with the Oracle messages that came out, we're dealing with someone who's stuck being loyal to someone else for life and they need to regain control of that situation. And you're like, well, that hurts me and I'm going to walk away, but I'm going to meet somebody new. And they're sorry and you're sorry. Mm hmm. Dang. Here's what you need to know or your advice at this time. There's way more to this story, I think, and I am curious as hell. My South Node in Gemini is convinced that we need an extended reading. So I'm going to tell, tell you more in the extended. But this is what came out. This is what Spirit's willing to tell us right now. The Ten of Wands. Someone is very burdened. They do not ask for help. They're almost finished a cycle, but they don't let stuff go. Because clarifying this is the Wheel of Fortune again with the Devil and the Nine of Swords. The Devil could just be a Capricorn. We also have a Queen of Pentacles here. So for some of you, you're dealing with someone that's a Capricorn. Maybe they're attached to a Capricorn. Also, sometimes when the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil can come out, it's very much about money, assets, resources, working within the structure of limitations as opposed to breaking out of it. Someone does keep playing out cycles, though, that just lead them to anxiety. The devil is something that does not want to be ignored. That's a problem that we need to stop ignoring. It's just making them anxious. So they're either just literally worried about a Capricorn over and over again, or they're afraid to be stuck, but they keep finding themselves stuck, and that weighs them down. If this is all about you, Libra... You have got to drop your burdens or you are going to go through this for an undetermined amount of time, maybe almost a decade. How many more decades do you want to go through that? Keep your good memories. Live with the consequences of your choices. Maybe this new start is really what's best for you. Maybe a new start with you is what's best for someone else, but they are locked in to their pain. Why do I get the sense that someone in this scenario is deeply committed to their dysfunction? We got to be committed to a solution, not to the dysfunction. This person's weighed down and they don't know how to get out of that. They get stressed out easily. And, you know, with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles here, there's a lot of goodness that they tell themselves about in the past. Kids could be involved, too. This could also be, there's the Knight of Swords. This might be about, some of you are rethinking some things about your own past. You may see them from a different point of view. Some of you this week will get in touch with and identify something that's been causing you pain physically or emotionally for quite some time. Let that illuminate you. But first, 
it's going to be stressful. But I feel like someone just keeps doing this over and over again. And the final outcome is the Nine of Swords. Oof. So this week, either for you or someone else, there's just going to be a lot of anxiety. And clarifying this is the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Who's that? Is that you? For some of you, it's you. Like I know that some of you are here because you have a Libra moon or a Libra rising, but you're actually a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Love you people, by the way. Earth signs are so wonderful. So maybe that's you and there's this guilt over hurting you or an anxiety about you. Someone may struggle to leave you because they don't want to hurt you. Or maybe some of you don't want to be hurt. Some of you might want to stay in a comfort zone. You really like your lifestyle. But there's this new beginning. But I kind of get the sense based on, you know, what I've picked up on with the Oracle messages first that came out. Because I pull those Oracle messages first and then I do the tarot to show me the details. This person is stressed out about hurting or a painful ending. Maybe there was a painful ending between you and this person, this Queen of Pentacles. That could be anyone in your life. There could have also been a younger Earth sign involved as well, like both of them got hurt. This could be a parent and a child. Also, this could be someone that's stressed out and anxious about this Queen of Pentacles and her being hurt or going through a painful ending with her and this is just a comfort zone and a loyal. I always feel like this Knight of Pentacles is being loyal to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like this might be someone's ex or their mom. I also just heard the word cousin. Um, names that start with the letter D and the letter S. Mm-hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Mostly Capricorn and Virgo. So it's like someone is stressed out about this, but it's like, oh, there's this beautiful thing here with you. They wanted me to use the Osho Tarot overall to tell us a little bit more about this person or this situation. What came out was postponement, new vision, innocence. Yep, the fool and the sun and the knight of cups. It doesn't get any more innocent than that. I mean, this one is Don Quixote, and this one is drag racing without a helmet. Definitely. And that's fun. <laughs> Innocence, but then guilt. So there is a new vision that this person is having, but there's a postponement of the vision. Look at how the person in the postpon postponement card is looking at the person in the new vision card. Like, oh, that looks so fun. I want to do this, but the new vision is being postponed. There was an innocence that was being recaptured for this person. But every time they get into that place of innocence, they feel guilty. Now, this person might be, someone might be walking away from a scenario that involves children. Because we do have knights, we do have the fool, and we have the six of cups. I'm usually, I don't have any pages here, though. So they might be guilty about, like, hurting the innocence of their own children or they're, they feel guilty about you, like I was a fool. Yeah, they have a lot of guilt right now. Yeah, I mean, with the devil and the nine of swords and then the 10 of wands, it's like they're letting guilt postpone a vision of the future. Here's what they wanna say to you. The Hidden Truth, volume one and two is here. I can't do this. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I have too much to lose. With who, the Queen of Pentacles or Libra? I'm dying to know. My people are too. But I think that they're gonna, they don't know what to do here. They have too much to lose, so they're afraid to move forward and they don't know how to let anybody go. I mean, the Six of Cups is here. They don't really know how to let something go. This may be a person you've moved on from and they couldn't go with you wherever you went. Here's what's going on for you though, Libra. Going with the flow, that's the Wheel of Fortune. You've been going with the flow, but now you're moving beyond any illusion. This is a week to move beyond illusion. And you're slowing down and guidance. Exhaustion is at the bottom of the deck. This is exhausting. I think you've been going with the flow, but you might have been operating under an illusion and now you're slowing down and realizing I cannot move quickly. Some of you may ask for guidance. 
There could be a Taurus involved because the guidance card often reminds me of the Hierophant, even though that's not the card. So I think you're not in a rush. I think you've been going with the flow, but you can't go quickly now. What you have to say is, I love you. I know I was a distraction from your pain, but I want to be more than friends. I hope you can forgive me one day as at the bottom of the deck. And I love you unconditionally. What's down here? I find you so attractive. Finding out the truth crushed me. Okay, so it really looks like there could be a new beginning here, but with you, but right now someone is feeling somewhat guilty. This Queen of Pentacles might be trying to pull somebody back in. And they might be worried about a Capricorn too or stressed out about this person. So I think they're going to say, it's really hard for me to let you go, but I have so much guilt and like an, some kind of an emotional obligation. And you're like, well, I can see now that I've just been distracting you away from your pain, but I kind of want more than that. And there's these apologies. I'm going to do an extended reading, Libra, because... Some of you, this person is going to let someone else go so they can start a whole new happy life with you. For others of you, it's someone that doesn't want to let you go. And maybe their mother just really loved you and that's going to hurt your mother-in-law and you know that and that's, uh, that's difficult for you. But for others of you, I really think you were having a relationship with someone and it's come to kind of a halt. So... That's what I'm going to focus on in the extended. If you feel like you need the extended reading to clarify what's going on underneath the surface for this person a little bit more deeply, because I can see how they see you, but I don't really know what they want from you. If you want more guidance and enlightenment about this scenario and what could happen, the link to the extended will be at the top of the description below. But Libra, you know what you have to do. A diff something is difficult here. Something isn't meant to be. So just stick with that advice. And I hope that this message help you helps you. All right, Libra, that's love and life this week. Hope it resonates and hope it helps. I'm always listening to the universe for you. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.